when your boyfriend was a fish kid? <laughs> See back there, they were like, so what kind of volunteer work do you want to do? And I was like, something on the water. And they were like, oh yeah, you can be a kayak specialist. And I was like, I kind of have more like fish in mind. <laughs> fish kid about, instead like... of a dinosaur kid, which is a lie. I was a dinosaur kid You were a kid dinosaur too. kid too, as well. Yeah, for sure. But I'm just thinking of the fact that you walk over and you're like, is that a croaker? It's not on the sign, but it's a croaker. Love the fish at Bass Pro. So David and I decided kind of randomly he needed a few things from Bass Pro Shop. So we kind of decided to just do a little Arundel Mills date. Oh, that's a TV commercial. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, so we're in Bass Pro Shop right now. And um, I think I'm gonna try and convince him to let me go to the bookstore, so. Yeah, <laughs> little date night. <laughs> I don't know what this is, if it's non-fiction. Oh, you wouldn't like it. What story is it based on? Shut up. I like pirates. history. Pirates. That's just what you want it to be about. You want everything to be about pirates. Spicer. Okay. Wow. I didn't realize how much of a freaking mess I look like. Okay, well, we just got back from the gym, but it's snowing again. I'm having a hard time getting up on the gym this time around. Really? I'm enjoying myself. I'm not in love with the setup. But I don't feel squishy today because I did chest. <laughs> Yesterday I did legs and abs and I was just like fuzzy afterwards. Squishy. I did arms again, but different Beeps. types of exercises. Beeps. And Beeps is just being a little nugget. Where you guys going? And see, it's snowing. Where you guys go? I'm not sure if I'll keep in that part because I don't want to expose where we are. That's fine. <laughs> That's going to be a totally different landmark soon. True. She's like, what you doing, Dad? <laughs> I love her so much. No, because she pulled the sleeves. <laughs> Bye-bye. What? <laughs> can, can I uh, see your design? <laughs> I'm uh, attempting, you can't tell, but a heart-ish situation. Yeah, so we'll see how this goes. Real ones can tell. Architectural <laughs> <laughs> design. Hello. Vlog. It, oh, I'm trying to put on my shoes and do this at the same time. It's not working so well. It is. Uh oh. Goodbye. <laughs> it is January 24th, and today is the first day of classes. I've actually been oddly productive today. It's okay. It's a weird system. I hate this low light. It is so blurry it's not much better i started doing things on monday to get ready for the semester on monday i had a ta orientation zoom and then on tuesday i had a ta work day where we had to set up all of the studio desks for the incoming students i unfortunately supposedly will not have a studio desk this semester because I'm not technically in any studios. I'm gonna be in pro thesis. And typically, if you're not a dual degree student, you have a studio going on at the same time as that, but I don't. So I don't technically have a desk, but I'm still paying studio fees. So I've decided that I will have a desk. <laughs> the um, thesis students have more desks than they have students enrolled in thesis. So I think I'm just gonna be a squatter. And if anyone complains, I'll move, but I just need a place to put my architecture supplies because they can't keep living in my car. All of that to say that I've had a pretty productive day. I woke up this morning around 7.30 and then went to the gym by like eight, had some breakfast, made David some breakfast, and then he had to get on the road because he is working at a restaurant, which I think we talked about already, but he's working at a restaurant during the week and he's going to some college classes as well. He had his first EMT class last night, and then today he is teaching his first class as a professor um yeah so i think 
he's actually doing that right now. But I am getting on my way to go to my first class of the semester, first class of my uh, final year, and it is a real estate class. So I will update you after class, but I need to get on the road because I don't want to be late. I'm leaving rather early, but still don't want to be late. So bye. We're back. It is 7.40. If you're unaware, my real estate classes happen from 7 to 10 p.m. So being home at 7.40 would mean... That's right, the class didn't happen. <laughs> my professor confused the dates, thought our class was happening on Monday, so I got to go home early. And to be completely honest, for my first day of classes of this semester, I'm not mad about it. <laughs> This was my only class today, so I got dressed up to be ready for my first day of classes for the last year of college ever, and um, class didn't happen. <laughs> I did have a meeting with the professor I'm going to TA for this semester earlier today, and I also had a call with my internship supervisor to set up my part-time working sitch for this semester. So it was still a productive day. I bullet journaled. I went to the gym this morning. We did a lot of things today. We just didn't have any classes. <laughs> I did, however, check my Elms page and I already have an assignment for prothesis and I don't even have class yet. So there's that, which I started looking into tonight while we were waiting. Um, for the professor. I need to look into that more, figure out exactly what it is, and then work on that. But I don't think that's a tonight problem. I think I might push that till tomorrow morning. I'll probably read into it a little more, but I wanna edit and get through editing all of my Germany vlogs. That's my top priority so far because I don't actually have any assignments. I don't have any critical assignments due yet, okay? I know I have an assignment, but it's not due until Monday and we haven't even had the class yet. We'll get there, okay? I just wanna get through the vlog so that they actually go out in a relatively good, timely manner. I don't know, it's already so far past when I came home. My shoulder's aching though from, from arm day to day. So I'm gonna go eat my pizza, my veggie pizza, and get in comfortable clothes and edit vlogs. That's it, that's all I'm doing tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Real estate take two. <laughs> I'm so excited. I have a package. Let me close the door. I have been restraining myself because I wanna be making good financial decisions. However, that being said, I had multiple Amazon gift cards and I really wanted a couple of books. So this is the first book haul of 2024. It is the second day of February and um, I'm really excited to open this package. I always get so nervous when I'm cutting open Amazon packages because I worry that I'm gonna take my scissors and push them a little bit too far and then slice whatever's in there. I'm so excited. I do know why I'm so excited because reading has become a serious hobby for me and book collecting is a second separate hobby that I enjoy just as much. The first book on the top of the stack is By a Thread by Lucy Score. I know that this is like a enemies to lovers that I most people, myself included, don't like using that terminology on romance books because once you start reading- um, I just bought a gun! <laughs> um, do you want to see what books I got? Let me finish buying my gun. Okay. <laughs> David is really excited. He's getting a lever action. I'm blue, da ba dee da ba da. He's in his work uniform, he just got back. Because <laughs> I'm blue. Because you're blue. Oh, I'm so excited! Okay. I know, right? <laughs> we both just got things that we both really wanted. So, what was I talking about? This is like a, this is a romance book. I'm going to tell you now, because you're here. Mm. 
<laughs> Smutty? I, I don't know. I know it's, um, I think the premise is that she has a job and then like the boss's son gets her fired. So then the boss hires her somewhere else and they have to work together and then they fall in love, yeah. I think. I don't know, but I've heard a lot of people say that this is really good, so that's book number one. Book number two, Powerless by Lauren Roberts. This is a fantasy romance. Uh, from how I've heard it described, it's kind of like Hunger Games, but with Faye, so that should be interesting. I've been waiting for another good fantasy romance since I read Fourth Wing because Iron Flame was not as good. <laughs> so, so excited. I've seen only good things about this book. Similar genre, we have Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. This is another fantasy romance. I actually have no idea what this one is about. I've just seen it talked about a lot and it's pretty. So, mm, I'm just trusting the internet on this one. Last but not least, Atomic Habits by James Clear. This is like a, I guess, like a self-help book is what it's classified as. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. A lot of people say that it changes their life. So I'm interested, might as well. <laughs> I feel so awkward with you in here. Don't mind me. Don't mind you. But those are the four books that I bought on Amazon and that is my first haul of 2024 so hope you enjoyed oh wait I should also show the one book I got in Germany BRB this is the first book that I bought in 2024 it's uh Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka I actually I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce his name but it is a Prague author and I bought the book in Prague. So it's the Prague edition, which is really cool to me, but it's his work, which is considered a classic. And then a second author who was uh, working closely with him made a like sequel kind of follow-up story. So it's that story as well. And then I think it's just like information on his life and his works. So, yeah, there's that one too. That's all. Also, I'm making baked potatoes right now because we're doing a potluck dinner at one of my architecture friend's places tonight. So, those need to cook faster. They're taking way too long. <laughs> I want you to shoot both though, so I can actually hear it from The one. two gun salute. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is this cock? Yeah, it's right. No, I think they're equally loud. They just punch myself in the nose right there. Okay, ready? Yep. Very nice.